Now we get to double trouble again. And then play Nami, and Nami will be leveled up. You know, I'll have two mana for Twin Disciplines to help protect Nami. Or anything else. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. I will find the Moonstone. I will save my people. Yeah, I think this definitely improved at putting in these double troubles. They just work so well with Nami and with the whole spell mana thing. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lee Sin Nami. This is going to be our next deck. Now this one, it is meme tier day, right? And usually we play some decks that kind of have some, some jankier cards than this. This isn't really a meme tier deck. I, I feel like you could probably just put this deck in ranked. Uh, but the person that donated for the deck uh, did say go ahead and just play it in normal on meme tier day. So that's what we're going to do. We'll just play it on over here and, uh, you know, test it out and everything. We do have Mariah Great Mother. That's kind of a, a meme tier type card. Um, they can do some really cool stuff with creating some random six plus cost spells. So there we go. There's our, our meme tier card. And it, that's a very good card to retreat. We have a retreat your turn that we can pick it back up or homecoming that we can pick it back up as well and be able to replay it. Then, of course, once we uh, play the Great Mother, we do have Zap Spray Fin and Deep Meditation that can draw some spells from our deck and hopefully draw those um, random spells. Um, Ebb seems like a pretty awesome card in this kind of deck because you have Ebb and Flow. Like, that gives you three spells and you want a whole lot of spells to level up Lee Sin. And then, of course, you need more spells once you have Lee Sin leveled up. So that seems pretty cool. Um, looks like there's Coral Creatures in the list. Coral Creatures creates that spell for us and attunes. So that attune will help our Nami level up. And, of course, I the Dragon going to be attuning and wanting more spells and everything also. So... Uh, let's see how let's see how this goes. We have five five cost units, five four cost units. So that's where like the majority of our units are, and then only nine cheaper units besides that. So we're going to be saving up some spell mana the first few rounds to try to set up and uh, get our units in play, and then play a whole bunch of spells. All right, so that's our deck. So we're going to go play five games with Lisa and Nami. Scion LeBlanc with Freljord. I've actually played, we actually have a video up on YouTube, YouTube from like a long time ago from a donation deck of Scion LeBlanc. I think with Freljord, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was like LeBlanc, Ash, Frostbite, but with Scion instead. I wonder if this is like the same deck. Okay, so we're gonna have Coral Creatures to start with. That's good. I don't wanna keep two five cost Allies, Lee Sin does die to Culling Strike, so that could actually maybe be a little bit of a problem there. So the trap is set. The trap is set. We could Resonating Strike to do two damage to them, but I would rather save the extra spell mana uh, towards leveling up Nami. And then just have two spell mana in general for Twin Disciplines Protect Lee Sin. You got 407? Because we want to go Great Mother into Lee Sin. Places to go, people to be. 33% chance of killing that thing right away. That percentage is about to go down. This does level up future LeBlancs. What would kill this LeBlanc? Why are you here? But it will be leveled up. Because it's going to do five and then level up and then my great mother strikes because of the quick attack. You 
young tide caller. And you, great mother. Your words give me strength. We fight for one Man, friend. good hand. The Mirai will never know fear again. That's some beef. Ooh. Some real beef. Today we fight as one. Ride the surging tides. You won't stop me. Put me down to five. And killing Nami. It's not not great. Extend your senses. <laughs> now we draw Nobify? Oh, I don't know if Nobify is going to do anything anymore. Maybe they have a Culling Strike, we get to Nobify. Only the finest serve. Uh, yeah, it's a. It's been a very good hand for them. I don't know exactly how we can survive this, but you know, won't give up. I guess I could have killed the Yeti. Okay, they have two Yetis anyway. Yeah, done. <laughs> yeah, we got steamrolled. It could be a pr problem for like, you know, Lee Sin spell heavy decks that if your opponent just only starts playing a ton of five fives. We still survive. Zareth Zillion Talia. Send it back. how that last game played out. Kind of want Eye of the Dragon, want Nami. All those top end units are perfectly fine, but we don't they're all interchangeable without having anything earlier. We don't need to just keep a five you know five mana unit. There we go. Own one. Uh Eb did not look good that game. No, did not. It's looked pretty bad. Nothing really stays the same. I guess this is what we get whenever we had four units in Mulligan Ball. Alright, finally. Like, if I play Sonic Wave, we could challenge the Zillion. Um, and it would allow us to level up Nami. But I don't know if challenging the zillion is that important. Then they can just play new zillion.
<laughs> yeah. I guess it's imagine if he drew Eye of the Dragon and now, right? Keep up, keep up. Stands beneath me and winds behind me. Imagine we drew any unit that wasn't just one Zap Sprayfin. <laughs> okay. So while Ebb and Flow has looked very bad, to be fair, everything in our decks looked bad this game. So, no. No shortage of problem there. possible hit yet again yeah I could definitely see double trouble working out well in this deck giving you a spell that also puts bodies in play we have a shortage of bodies that's for sure Yeah, Fleet Admiral Shelley. We just have like no units, and so it doesn't really matter that if you know your two spells you grant other allies plus one plus one if you don't have other units. There's Fle Fleet Admiral Shelley. So imagine they're going to be destroying the Hexplosive Minefield to stun Lee Sin and give and deal 3 damage to Shelly. Is that burst speed, the pump spell? So like, yeah, it's not fast speed, right? So I can't interact with that. So Ancient Hourglass I can inter interact with. Alright, so that puts the Xerath back in their hand still. Oh, wow, they had that? Oh, man. It, if they would have just done that to begin with, they would have completely wrecked me. Can't believe they had that card. Like, Shelly should be dead, and Lee Sin be stunned. This has two damage. I'm gonna save the spell mana. We're probably gonna need spell mana with us having all this, all these spells. Nothing will stand in my way. Oh, no, 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 oh, wait, 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 this is bad. Much worse than I thought. Right, because this thing's going to die, this thing's going to get destroyed at the beginning of the round. We'll kill the Shelly. I don't 
don't really want Shelly getting killed. Yes, it's fine. It's all about, like... It's fine. It's all about they have another one of those uh, burst beat stun things, right? Like, that's what, it, that's what matters. We're just gonna go all in. They have, there's many different options they could have, but that's uh, chief among them. I'm just going all in. So we could steal this game that looked like it was terrible for us for a long time. And there we go. Because they could add the stress defense that they, if they just, yeah, like the stress defense play, if they just don't play stress defense, they win th this game. Okay, before we go on to game three, we're going to make two changes to the deck. We're going to go ahead and take out Ebb and Flow. As we saw, that card just not really perform very well. And then also Retreat Return, because we didn't really have too many things to retreat or return. So we're going we're gonna to take out those two and uh, still keep the spells in, but but hopefully affect the board better. We're going to have uh, three copies of Double Trouble, getting the random the two random one-cost followers for us, get us some more bodies, and then two copies of Line Em Up, where uh, you know we, we can get a little bit of removal in with that. And it, that's still two spells. You know, Ebb and Flow is three spells, but it costs a ton of mana. This will still get us two spells, line them up, knock them down. So that's what we will have. So making those uh, making those two small changes to the deck. All right, playing against Darkness Control. Okay, I think I'm actually just going to keep both Spray Fins for this matchup where, you know, like we're playing against a control deck, we're going to want more spells. There we go, this is a good hand. Where are you? So don't do anything the first two rounds. We're not really in any... Um, like, we're not, we're not going to be playing two spells in a round anytime soon. I mean, I kind of have to kill that thing. I don't want to do this course, but I also don't want their darknesses gaining an extra point of damage everywhere. That is a very bad thing to have happen. Alright, save some spell mana. So they, you, think, you don't think they'll be able to kill Lee? I mean, usually their decks play like one or two min mini morphs, right? Mini morph is some trouble. Even double trouble. Uh, I can't quite kill that, can I? I needed, I needed any two power unit, but if I play Nami, I still can't. I can't kill that Vagar. Why, why couldn't either of you have been a two power unit? We're not going to get a slay unless they block, which I don't know why they would block. Respect the ocean and all its boons. Because they would. <laughs> I mean, it might work that you know, like they block the lonely portal, but I, I don't understand why they would ever block the lonely portal when they see you know, they could see that coming. So I, I don't believe that that would work, but you, you never know it could. I dropped everything. Like a fish in water. <laughs> nope, if I counter darkness. Six, seven, I will save my people. Okay, who's getting the challenger? I guess you. Ride 
Maybe I don't actually offer that trade. Keeper's verdict. <clears throat> so we've gotten two Great Mother cards, but they're not necessarily the two best. They could be okay. <laughs> okay, they haven't been the best. Two options to block. Plus blocks there, aloof blocks here. That's not worth it. Hopeless, honestly. So put them down to seven. I think we got this. Well... How do I know which one to Atrocity? I guess you have the cheapest mana cost. Okay, I can click that right and then look at the eye. Yeah, no, it would, and then it's gonna buff up the spray fin. Mega Inferno Bomb. So we drew, we were, did we draw off all five spells? That doesn't even really do anything. Except for get some slays. Of course they get fast speed darkness now. Atrocity? Did we get him? Just two mana? We got him! The old Bakai Reaper Atrocity combo. Gotta expect that in your Lisa and Nami deck. Okay, Cyclone is the donation deck for a Yasuo Leona Malphite Perma Stun deck. Okay, I will try to build that. What am I notifying against Zareth Zillion? Zareth Champion spell, deal four. It's a good card to notify. Then I also have Twin Disciplines that kind of does the same thing. Let me send it back. Yeah. Um. There you go, yeah, that's the link to all the decks. And you can find the deck codes for the other decks right in there. Uh, you know, just click on the deck and then uh, you can copy the deck code from Mobilitics. Did I say Ziggs? 
Zillion. Zillion and Ziggs, they sound the same. <laughs> but at least they start the same. My challenger bird. You gonna challenge my challenger bird? You can't challenge my challenger bird. Alright, round four, level up Nami. Our powder keg's not gonna do anything else, and that spell mana doesn't matter to play the Nami, that card's fleeting, you know, like, we just might as well just play our, our spell. It does help out deep meditation, so that is good. <laughs> do, 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 do. If they have the deal four, I got twin disciplines. But we'll definitely play a deep meditation here. There's the deal four. And there we go. Because, yeah, Nami's just going to take over there, and then, like, they don't have anything left in play, and I have everything in play, and we got a lot of power, and I'm proud to call myself that game is over from there. Double Trouble looked good. Draven Jinx. We have not played against Draven Jinx very much recently. I honestly really like this hand. I like everything about it. I shall keep it. All right, they got a good start. Really don't want to play Double Trouble this round. The party has a case, unless we have to. But I really prefer to play next round. So they, we know they're gonna have Draven. Because the Draven's biggest fan. So I'm assuming that they are going to play Draven before attacking next round. They're not going to just open attack. That they would prefer to play Draven first. Which would give me the opportunity to play this slow spell. Down to 13. Not in my favorite spot, but I think we're okay. Now we get to double trouble again. And then play Nami, and Nami will be leveled up. And I'll have two mana for Twin Disciplines to help protect Nami. Or anything else. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. I will find the Moonstone. I will save my people. Yeah, I think this definitely improved at putting in these double troubles. They just work so well with Nami and with the whole spell mana thing. We'll have Concussive Palm to stun the Draven next round. I hope they don't have vision. So these things are just one ones. Makes life a lot easier than if they're two ones. So I'm letting this ally die so it grows the bark beast. Could be blocking the Draven as well, and but then we're like stunning like a one one. 
did have vision. That is too bad. Did they just put the... Did they put the spinning axe on the Draven? Alright, so of course the spinning axe should should go on like one of these things, so they would have dealt an additional point of damage to us, so we would be you know, at 8 instead of 9. Okay, that's a good card for us to see. Not a good card for us to see. You should try blinking sometime. That was definitely not a good card for us to see. Alright, so I wanted to play Sprayfin, but now we gotta play Lee Sin to challenge Jinx. We have to kill Jinx. I have to give the, the plus three plus zero to the Lee Sin because otherwise, you know, it's, it's just three damage attacking if they play this card. Like, Jinx is really a 5-4. It says 4-3, but it's really a 5-4 if they just play that card. Worst case scenario is that's a second Jinx in hand. That's, that's a big problem if that's a second Jinx. They probably win the game if it's a second Jinx. Okay. So that's still a problem because now these things attack for three each. So we're looking at nine total damage coming in. Hopefully it's something they play and give me the opportunity to play like a spray fin to block. Unfortunately this is slow speed to knock him down. Keep up, keep up. Well, hope they can't kill us. Yes. Dude, Coral Creature's coming through clutch. I'll stop and get excited. What's the worst that could happen? Um I have to play two spells to save that. So that was like the best thing that could happen for me getting the uh, health potion, but that was a wonderful round for them, right? They drew Urchin, which drew Experimenter, which drew three more cards, right? So like this one draw ends up being draw four, and it was, you know, perfect round seven for that. So we're both doing as good as we could hope, basically. And that turns into Rummage for two new cards. So they got seven cards through their deck with just drawing this urchin. I got them seven more cards through the deck. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and play you. Sonic Wave. I was seeing like maybe we get Nopify to stop something important. But I think we could maybe we could probably kill him. Let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter. So this is 14 damage right now. Our enemies cannot hide. Oh, I don't have the mana for that. 16 damage? I need one more mana. I just kind of assumed I was going to have more mana. Oh. Uh, down to one. I need one more. One more mana. Oh, 
I guess Nami should be attacking. Nami just kills one of these things, right? Just, just dead. So they discarded Draven's biggest fan. So they have to pass. Oh, you can't play that, opponent. You can't play that. You have to pass and draw Get Excited, and then... You can't play that. All right, four and one. All right, so good showing there for, for Lee Sin. Nami started off a little rough, especially, you know, we just had that one game like where we didn't have a single unit the entire game, basically. Besides, one, we drew one spray fin, and we're just trying to kill our opponent with one spray fin. Obviously, that one didn't work at all. I think this did help out a lot more with having the line them up and the, um, and the double trouble, especially the double trouble. Line them up is eh, all right, but the double trouble was really key. That, that card looked quite good. For us it was just kind of gave us the two blockers to just slow the opponent down and just trade with like their early stuff that they were playing and then it just worked perfectly for leveling up nami and then you have so this was a pretty pretty good looking nami deck because you know especially once we changed that out because then you have like your lee sin at the top end that helps finish the games out and and does all the lee sin stuff y'all know how good that card is we also just never even had a round two eye the dragon right like that's something about this kind of deck that um, you know, you can usually like, you can say that like some of your best hands are like with Eye of the Dragon and the Draglings and everything like that. We didn't have an Eye of the Dragon at all. So I don't know if there's anything better than line them up. Maybe there is, maybe there's not. It is nice that it does, you know, it is two spells. It can take your three spell mana if you don't have double trouble for round three. And then, you know, you get to refill with that. So like, that's also pretty nice. So it, it does some things that are okay. Um, you know, cause Ebb is really awkward to play early on because you want to play like three mana worth of spells and it's two, then four. It's just it's just awkward uh, early on. All right, so there we go. That's Lee Sin Nami. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. This is one that could probably be taken on over to ranked. Uh, it probably doesn't need to be a meme tier deck, even though that's where we had it. Um, we also don't go that wide for Fleet Admiral Shelley, so as far as like changing something in the future, I could see removing Fleet Admiral Shelley, maybe play another Great Mother, maybe play, um, honestly I could see just playing Scatter Pod instead. A couple of Scatter Pods could potentially help draw spells from Great Mother also, or just, you know, whatever you need, you know, you, uh, you know just give you some card advantage like that. That would probably be, um, probably be a little bit better than the Shelley for this kind of deck that's really going tall more than going wide. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Lee Sin Nami. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.